Alright guys, so pag-usapan natin ngayon yung power and efficiency which is still a part of our lecture about fundamentals of fluid flow. Okay, so of course, this is still included sa ating fluid mechanics course. Okay, so let us start discussing about power. So, power is the rate at which work is done. So, for a fluid of unit weight gamma, which is in newton per cubic meter, and moving at a rate of Q, which is in cubic meter per second with a total energy E, the power in newton meter per second or joule per second or watt is this equation. So, we have here power is equal to Q times the unit weight times E. Okay? And our formula in getting the efficiency N is equal to output divided by the input multiplied to 100%. So, we have here the useful conversions na gagamitin natin sa ating lecture. So, 1 horsepower HP is equal to 746 watts and 1 horsepower HP is equal to 550 feet pound per second. And 1 watt is equal to 1 newton meter per second or is also equal to 1 joule per second. Okay, so para makita natin how are you going to apply these formulas, let us try to solve this problem here. So a turbine is rated at 600 horsepower when the flow of water through it is 0 0.61 cubic meter per second. Assuming an efficiency of 87%, what is the head acting on the turbine? So, as we have shown earlier, our formula for the power is equal to Q, our unit weight, and our energy E. What we are actually looking for here is the head acting on the turbine, which is our E right here. Okay, so let us just use HE for now para mas madali natin siya ma-identify as the head acting sa ating turbine. Now, given ang ating efficiency, so let us try to use yung formula natin kanina wherein our efficiency N is equal to output over input times 100 percent, diba? Okay, so our turbine is rated at 600 horsepower. Therefore, it means that it is our power output. So, our power output is equal to 600 horsepower. So, we also know the efficiency. So, ang hindi natin alam is itong ating input power, no? So, our efficiency N is equal to 87%. Okay, so let us try to get the power input. So, power input is equal to, so we need to isolate itong input para makuha natin yung kanyang value. So, we are going to use transposition. So, therefore, our input is equal to output divided by the efficiency. Therefore, we have our output divided by the efficiency times 100. Okay, so therefore, our power input is equal to our power output, which is 600 horsepower. Okay, divided by our efficiency, which is 87 times 100. Okay. So now we can get the value of our power input which is equal to 600 times 100 and we will divide that to 87. Okay, so our power input is equal to 689.655 horsepower. So 689 point um, 655 horsepower. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung ating power input. 
So, therefore, now we can use this formula dahil alam na natin yung power input natin. No? So, our power input is equal to Q, our unit weight, and our energy head. No? So, we know the power input which is 689.655 horsepower. Okay, and this is equal to our Q, so given ang ating Q dito, no? our Q is equal to 0 0.61 cubic meter per second. So we have 0 0.61 cubic meter per second. Then our um, unit weight, uh, by the way, our fluid here is water, no? so you can see here. Our fluid is water. So, we know that our unit weight is equal to the density multiplied to the uh, acceleration due to gravity. No? So, our acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second squared. And the density of water is 1,000 kilogram per cubic meters. Then, we will multiply that to our HE. Now, our dimensions should be consistent. No? So, we have to convert our uh, power input from horsepower into um, watts. Okay? And then, 1 watt is equal to 1 newton per meter squared. So, let's convert. First, itong ating power input. So, we have 689.655 horsepower times in 1 horsepower, we have 746 watts. And 1 watt is equal to 1 newton meter per second. Okay? So, we are able now to express our power input into newton meter per second. So, this is equal to our Q which is 0 0.61 cubic meter per second. And then, we have 9.81 meter per second squared times 1000 kilogram per cubic meters. So, now we have kilogram meter per second square dito no. Um we can convert this into newton dahil meron tayong newton dito so we can cancel that out. So 1 kilogram meter per second squared is equal to 1 newton. Okay, so we are going to multiply this to our HE. Okay, so check natin yung ating mga dimensions. No? So our horsepower will be cancelled. Our watts will be cancelled. Here, um, our cubic meter will be cancelled. Okay? And then, our kilogram meters per second squared will be cancelled. And dito sa left side ng ating equation, we have newton. And sa right side, we have newton. So we can cancel that out. Now, we have a denominator of seconds sa left side and we also have a second denominator in the right side. So, we can cancel this out. So, ang may iwan sa ating unit is yung meters. Okay? Okay, so let us now calculate our answer. So, we have this 689.655. Let us multiply that to 746. So, we have 514482.7586. No? So, yan na yung nasa left side ng ating equation. But, we need to isolate itong HE natin. So, we are going to divide these values dito sa ating uh, value sa left side. No? So, we are going to divide this by 0 0.61. And, we are going to divide this by 9.81. And we're also going to divide this by 1,000. 
Okay, so therefore, we have in our left side of the equation, 85.97. And our unit is in meters. And this is equal to our HE. So actually, yan ang hinahanap natin. So therefore, our HE is equal to 85.97, I mean, meter. Okay, so this is equal to 97, sorry. Okay, so this is equal to 97 meters. So, yan yung nakuha natin kanina dito. Okay, so this is our final answer to this problem.